can you relate 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 can you really relate doing these trying times can you relate can you really relate to the words that Anita Wilson is singing can you relate to the fact that you just love God have you ever been around the mothers of old or been, been around anyone and you just felt the oh it's like a quickening and so this morning as I was getting myself together I felt a quickening and so I thank God because that's a jolt that's it's just a jolt that God says look man listen here baby I love you I am so excited to see you all everyone who is under the sound of my voice on this wonderful Tuesday it is car Chronicles time and if you've seen me and I've seen you and I think most of you have actually held in person then you know who I am and who we are we are the car Chronicles movement move and bound together despite the six feet social distance Josh we are bound together by the principles of Psalms 133 with the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty it's amazing because during these trying times the very thing that God desires is, the world says is killing us and it is unity it's the touching it's the feeling god bless you evangelist patty roscoe it is so good to see you you have to contact me patty because i need you patty i need you to put your message in my inbox so i can bring you to charlotte north carolina i thank god for you 1000 people who happen to be here to all of the replay people that means you can't get here at 7 30 for whatever reason being however you know that this slot watch the numbers don't get duped by the copycats this number right here we are bound together and millions of us around the world are part of this movement you watch the algorithms and you would know that so good morning to you all who was the replay those of you who are from another country you are watching us i spoke to someone from brussels yesterday who loves the car chronicles movement and so I want to say to all of you who are overseas, God bless you all. I want to say to Unity Church Charlotte, the best place on earth. I guarantee you, you have, I promise you, I love my church, Divine Influence. I give you a shout out in Jacksonville. That is the home and the house. I thank God for the apostle of that house who happens to be someone who is part of my future. Ding. So the apostle Fred good i thank god for you i want to say to everyone who was under the sound of my voice i even like to say hello to our assistant pastor coach d the re-warrior who will be on tonight at seven o'clock so go ahead you guys get your uh, your re-warrior your 31 day devotional i hope that you guys have done that i want to say to you all that these are trying times and i got that i need you guys to please click tag and share i want to say right now under the sound of my voice i thank god for the miracles that we are seeing because we are seeing miracles and even though the world's tries to act like that uh you you you, you don't have them we do i want to say to um, um, Pastor Crystal, I am praying for your daughter. I got the message. Uh, Michelle put her name up there. Put up Pastor Crystal. I thank God because uh, you have reached out to me and those that have reached out to me. I thank God for you. I want to read something while you're going with me to Zechariah 3. Get your coffee teas and me. I'm going to give a beep right here. This beep is for all of us that are home with our kids going crazy. I like to give you that beep because I thank God you have not lost your mind trying to figure out what mathematic problem problem that you probably have never seen in your life i want to give this right here but listen to me i'm giving that beat to the doctors i thank god for you because you are out i thank god this is for you nurses that's for you all of my essential workers that's for you and guess what someone said well what about the essential wor wor workers who are in the prison system that are dealing with this pandemic behind closed door and they can't get out lord god I'm going to just give you a little longer one. People are like, what is wrong with this crazy lady? Well, I'm the crazy pastor in the car. I really am a real pastor. God bless you, lady Keisha. Um, I thank God for you. I really am a real pastor. I have this church called the Car, the car Chronicles Movement that we're seeing Monday through Friday at 730. Don't get do Watch the numbers. But I have this church. It's a little crazy church. We're coming together with liberty, love, and laughter. It's called Unity Church Charlotte. And I just uh, thank God that I'm now going to be... Um, I'm going to let him tell it, but I'll wait for the Apostle Fred to announce that. So I thank God for you all. I thank God again for Unity Church Charlotte. Thank God for Divine Influence in Jacksonville. Thank God for this wonderful movie called the Car Chronicles movie. Go meet Zechariah 3. I want you guys to understand something. Someone put something in my inbox and it wasn't just someone. 
God bless you, Matt Brewster. It wasn't just someone. This was my God child. I'm not going to tell you her name because she is grown and she's private, but I'm going to show you, I'm going to read to you what she put in my inbox. Okay. This is her words. Now she is in New York. Everyone knows Evie's going up the timeline. That's my girlfriend. She's in New York. She said, God, mommy. See, I, this is her message right here. I'm just going to show you. She said, God, mommy, LOL, cute, because I sent that little cookie monster. How you guys doing? I'm okay. She said, I'm staying sane. This is what she said. I work in a hospital and it has not been easy or fun for me. I volunteered to help move bodies from the morgue to an outside freezer just to make room. This is what she said. She said, that was last week. And then they finally laid me off. I'm going to continue. I got a feeling. She said, it's all good. It's all too much. She said, wishing God would soon cease all of this. I want to say, Key, I love you. I got your message and I'm praying. I also want to read another message from a young lady that got in my inbox and we prayed. And this was her message. She said to me, listen to this. She said, to God be the glory. My mother is coming home. This is what she said. My mother is coming home. Here's another one. This one, first letter G, and that's all I'm going to say. This is what she said. She said, to God be the glory. It's just a UTI. I'm coming home. 1,700 people under the sound of my voice. I know that it is scary. I get it. No one is more concerned than the leaders of the free world. Well, some of us. No one is more concerned than the pastors that have to pray. It is getting ready to be Easter on Sunday. And this is the Holy Week. Did you know that Sunday was Palm Sunday? You didn't even feel it. We're doing communion, in fact, tomorrow. I'm going to be doing it you know, live. But some churches are saying, what do we do on Sunday? I'm actually thinking about having church outside if the forecast is okay. But God said that people think that I have forgotten about them, woman of God, and I have not. But he wants me to show you something. Go with me to Zechariah 3. Can you do that? Well, good. Get your coffee, get your tea, and get me, and let's go to the word of God. Allow me to read it for you because God has given me a very feng shui way of reading the word of God. I'm praying for my little beep beeps. I miss seeing them. And he showed me Joshua. He showed me Joshua, the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan at the right hand to resist him. Now, listen, I'm going to open up your understanding because that's the type of ministry God has given me a ministry of great wisdom. Most prophets, if you really are one, you have the gift of wisdom. Poetry is one of the attributes as well. Did you know that Job too had the same experience as Joshua? Somewhat. Watch this. The Bible says that when Job was minding his own business like a lot of us, it said the eldest came, but the enemy came exactly with him. Listen to me. It means that Job and Joshua experienced simultaneously, which my favorite word is, dual individuals, dual realms, coming to him which one is going to win we already know that's a fixed fight so the bible said that joe was minding his own business god bless you bishop west and the bible said that the enemy came and guess who came diablo the devil the enemy came with him well here we are joshua is experienced the same thing it said that joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the lord and standing there too was the devil to resist him did you know that this world, hey, Corinne, how you doing, means that so many things are working amongst the earth. Just like God is working, the enemy is working even harder. Just like the enemy is, listen, just like God is blessing, the enemy is around here messing with us. Simultaneously, both forces are working. Whose report do you believe? Okay, listen. And so God said Satan was standing at the right hand to resist him. Come on, y'all. We're not going to cry. Hold on. We're going to get there. We're going to get through this together. This means that the enemy was standing there trying to attack his faith. That's what's happening to us now. The Lord said to Satan, the Lord rebuke you. Oh, Satan, enemy, 
Even the Lord has chosen Jerusalem. And even he rebukes you. Liz Wright, God bless you. Listen to me. It is not this a brand picked out of the fire. Meaning this. This is me going and getting a stick, pulling it from the fire. Meaning this is not a match for God. It means that what's going on is not a match for the most high God. Mm -hmm. Even though they're trying to try you in the fire right now, we all going to come out. It's pure goals. But this is what gets me so excited. We ain't got no time for the enemy's buffoonery. Now Joshua was clothed with a filthy garment. And he was standing there. And he stood before the angel, filthy. Now don't throw a stone at me because you can't. I need everybody to put their stones down. Did you understand that everybody that judges you need to put their rocks down and go home? Because we are all standing before God with filthy garments. Mm -hmm. Possibly that's why we're in this mess. Because our garments was just a little bit too dirty for him. And God said this, the angel of the Lord stood before him. Joshua was standing there with filthy garments and rags. And he answered and he spoke unto that which stood before him saying, listen... Listen to me. Now, here we are. I'm the nation. I am 2,000 people who are clicking, tagging, and sharing about two people. Listen, I'm going somewhere. This is what the Lord is saying. As he stood there with the filthy garment, he answered unto him. He's saying, listen. He said, behold. We're saying, God, us, we are. Behold, I have caused your iniquity." Your errors, your sin, your transgressions, everything that you have done wrong in this appointed time, nation, people, could tag and share, be obedient. He said, what I'm going to do, it's going to pass from thee. And what's going to happen, I will close you. And I'm going to change the remnant. Simply, it's happening now. The remnant is changing. Hold on, everybody that is deep. God bless you, First Lady Vaughn. The word of God said to render your heart and not your garments. Ha! A lot of people are not going to like me right now, but I'm going to say it. He ain't got nothing to do with what you wear. Ha! And God has said, hold on. What I'm going to do is take those filthy rags that you receive rolling around with the wrong person that you receive trying to uh, live a life of sobriety that you you believe God bless you for that honey red that you believe God bless you I am so honored Bishop Charles W. Harris sir I honor you thank you Bishop God said I'm going to take everything that you're dealing with considering iniquity considering sin considering everything that folks is nailing you to the cross with he said I'm going to change your garment ah, go there is something about when your garments change child you know you do Doing about five, six loads of laundry, and you're used to doing one during the week. Listen to me, God bless you, Pastor John. And God is saying, What I'm about to do to the nations, a change is about to come. Hear me. He says, I'm going to change the garment. And I said, Let them set a fair. Listen to me. This is the word. Bishop just went up the timeline. Listen, I'm going to say this word. Matra. Matra. Well, what is that? My tara. My tara. What is that? Bishop knows that. Bishop just went up the timeline. Bishop West just went up the timeline. Bishop Harris just went up the timeline. Hear me. They all wore it. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Wait a minute. Fred got one too. Hear me. It means it is a hat. It is a part of the priestly garment. It is white. The Hebrew word of it is called dinam in Ezekiel. It is a hat the high priest wear, made with linen, linen, some of them with gold. It sits on the head of a bishop. Y'all know God knows the part of ain't seen without ears. It is a hat, a priestly hat. The high priest wore it. Listen to me. He said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change your wardrobe, folks. What I'm going to do, nation, I'm about to change your garment. Ha! From filthy rags to, listen, fine china and linen. Hear me. And God says this. Take a mitra on your head. So he set a fair mitra upon his head. And he clothed themselves with white garment. And then the angel of the Lord stood by. And the angel of the Lord stood by. Now watch this. I'm going to blow your mind. Thus said the Lord of hosts. If thou walk in my ways. And if thou walk in my charge. And keep the charge. Then thou shalt also judge my house. 
Jerusalem as well. You shall judge my house that thou also keep my courts and I will give thee place to walk among these that stand by. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of the word if you allow me for a period of time. I thank God for all of the ecclesiastical offices that are gathering here with me this morning. While we are standing still, he is yet walking. I'm going to say it like that. While we are all standing still, God is yet walking. You don't understand what is happening here, so I've got to bring you up to speed if you have not watched CNN. Mm -hmm. If most of you are walking around and it's not affecting or affecting you, mm -hmm, but you don't understand that the entire world is at a standstill. You don't realize that God has to get us to a place uh, where he's got to speak to us. Uh, he is now saying, as I've always said, uh, may I please have your attention. Uh, understand the word of God said that at this moment uh, where he changed the garment, uh, I got why he was standing there uh, with filthy rags. Something had to happen. Uh, the process of the changing of the God uh, has had to happen. Y'all uh, don't get it with 2,200 folks. Uh, click tagging and sharing. God said, uh, get ready to walk around sharing. You don't understand what is happening. Huh? God said, in order for me to change something, huh? something got to be broken. Huh? In order for me to change something, huh? something needs to be fixed. Huh? We sing Jermaine song, Hawkins, we do. Huh? Lord, a wonderful change has come over me. Huh? You hadn't seen a change huh? until they put us back in worship together. Huh? God bless you, Pastor Paul Dean. Huh? You have not seen a change huh? unless you witness the move of God. Huh? What is happening? on the earth is that the entire earth is at a standstill. God said, wake up and tell them huh, why they are standing still. Huh? I am yet walking the earth. Huh? You don't understand. I brought Job into this. Huh? Let me bring Joshua. Huh? Both of them understood they needed God. Huh? Both of them understood. Huh? I'm at a place where I'm minding my own business, huh? but I'm about to fight a war. God, huh? Joshua was a mighty man of valor. Huh? Understand that every war he had to fight, huh? he needed God. You too. Huh? Understand that Job understood. Huh? I may got everything, huh? but in this pandemic, I've lost everything. Huh? Somewhere there's a pastor huh? not even being able to pay the rent. Huh? God said, I am walking. God, huh? why is Kanye with all of this? Huh? The choirs have gone quiet. Huh? If they had to, somebody in Jersey, huh? tell James Hall huh? to revamp it and say, huh? Jesus walk. Huh? Jesus is walking with us, huh? even though the earth is standing still. Huh? Oh God, there is something about standing still huh? that God brought to my understanding. Huh? Stand still. Is the only way you can see the salvation of the Lord. Huh? You don't even understand that God said, Why this entire earth huh, is standing still? Huh? Oh God, huh? He said, I am walking. Huh? Hear me. Huh? The Bible said that the enemy huh, walks to and fro amongst the earth, huh, seeking whom it shall devour. Well, ah, God help us. Huh? In fact, He said, Can I afflict the nation called huh, America? Huh, God, huh? Can I afflict them, please, sir? Huh? Because they said on your word, huh? Oh God, huh? in God we trust. Huh? Well, we are all having a job experience. God said, listen here, you can do whatever you want to some of them, but some of them you ain't gonna touch their life. God, because I said, stand still and know there is something about when God says stand still, it simply means he's about to work. Oh, you don't understand what I'm saying? Someone said, preach, I'm gonna do that. I'm trying, Pastor. 2,300 folks under the sound of my voice. If you are standing still, you ain't got nowhere to go anyway. You may as well click tag and share. You can't go to the church, so let the church come to you. Hear me. There is something about huh, when God stands a thing still. Huh? 2,300 folks huh, under the sound of my voice. Huh? Let me blow your mind because huh, most of you don't understand. Huh? God, when he says stand still, huh, it means he's about to work. Hear me. Go with me really quickly because y'all don't understand. Huh? I've got to show you something that you might have missed. Huh? But God said show them to me. Huh? Go to the 23rd Psalms. Allow me to read this for you. Whenever God says stand still, huh? it simply means he's about to move. Now, watch this. Huh? Understand we're talking about change. The changing of the gods of God has already begun. Hear me. The changing of the God. You think you got God figured out? God bless you, Pastor Charles. God is sick. I'm doing a new thing in the earth. How do I do a new thing in the earth unless I snatch away those old filthy garments? Hear me. The word of God says this. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me lie down. My God, we ain't doing nothing but Standing still, sleeping, eating, and telling the kids to sit down and read a book. Hear me. He says, listen to me. He said, I shall not want him. He maketh me lie down. Uh -huh. He leadeth me when you lie down. 
it simply means you stop moving huh? so God can lead us through this thing. He said huh? he needed me besides the still water. Huh? Whenever you're standing still huh? and you're being still, huh? he can lead God. Huh? He said, what I'm going to do, huh? I'm leading you in the path of righteousness huh? for his name's sake. Huh? Listen to me, I'm not done. Huh? Even though I walk in his name, listen to me, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, hmm? listen to me, huh? go on and watch the news for a little bit. Huh? Please listen to me. Huh? You don't understand that God is saying, huh? you are still, huh? you can't move. Huh? Now I can lead. Huh? Now I can speak. Huh? I can take the righteousness huh? and I can give them what they desire. Listen to me. He says, even though you're walking through the valley of darkness, hear me, 2,500 folks, are we not all walking? Have you not seen what's happening over? Listen to me. Come on now. Don't be afraid. I need you to operate your faith. And God is saying, even though we're walking through the valley of shadow of death, we ain't gonna fear no evil, for God is with me. Huh? How does he be with you? Huh? Unless you find yourself huh? up against opposition when you need him. He said, go on and walk through the valley of shadow of death. Huh? I'm walking with you there anyway. Listen to me. Listen. He said, I will feel no evil, for you and I are together. But it don't feel like it, God. Huh? Oh, you gonna hold on, just wait, just wait. He says, listen. He said, the rod and the staff. They're going to comfort you. Now, where are all of my shepherds? Uh, hello, I happen to be one. Huh? There is something about the stepping. I remember when God told me, how's the people? Huh? He showed me a shepherd's staff. Now, hold on. Wait a minute. Huh? You didn't know that candy canes and, you know, for, for, for. Come on now, Bishop. You didn't know that the candy canes doing Christmas are called a shepherd's staff. Y'all say they're candy canes, but they really are a shepherd's staff. God showed me a shepherd's staff. Hmm? When I was pastoring, he showed me gathering sheep. Huh? These sheep were bruised. They were hurt. Other churches had hurt them. Hear me. Huh? The shepherd staff is moving now. Huh? What do you mean, woman of God? Huh? As I begin to beat my face that y'all so happen to admire right now because I did everything in my power to try to look halfway decent without Eddie. You don't understand huh? that God showed me a shepherd staff this morning. Huh? Bishop Harris, he showed me the shepherd staff huh? and he was gathering the sheep. Huh? The shepherd staff is specifically for the lost sheep. It's for the ones that stray. Not go shop. It simply means that God is taking the staff huh? while y'all are still huh? he can pull you right back to him huh? I got him he said I'm married to the backslider huh? everybody need God now don't they huh? hear me huh? God said what I'm doing now huh? I'm stretching out my shepherd's staff huh? and I'm gathering the fold I got him God said huh? this is what I do huh? but I can only do this huh? when I get you in the valley of the shadow of death huh? I can only do this huh? if you get still God huh? I'm gonna go a little bit deeper huh? he said that rod and they staff they comfort me huh? why does a rod gotta come for you, huh? Child, did you know the word of God said what you running around with these old hardhead kids? Huh? Thank God for the professors and the teachers. Huh? He said, what you got to do, huh? The rod of correction huh? will bring out anything huh? to scrunch to the word of God. Huh? And God said, with the rod that I've got, huh? I'm gonna comfort them because huh? I'm pulling them back from harm. You don't understand 2,000, huh? 600 folks under the sound of my voice, huh? He said, now that I got you still, huh? Now that I got you lying down, huh? I can comfort you, huh? I can lead you, huh? You ain't got to fear no evil. Because huh? you're going to see that I am with you. Hold on, wait a minute. Huh? Then I can prepare huh? a table before you huh? in the presence of your enemy God. Huh? Most of you know good and well. Huh? Roman noodles ain't enough. Huh? They don't already got the good snacks, didn't they? Huh? They went up in the China cabinet huh? the break from west. Huh? They went under the seat huh? in the room where you got it all locked up. Because huh? you know the kids are eating. God said, huh? now what I can do, huh? I can give you so much huh? until you don't even know huh? where it's coming from. God said, huh? now that you've been running around trying to fix your stuff, huh? Sit down, sit down. Um, he said, I'm going to tell this whole... Oh. Oh, this is good to me. I'm going to tell this whole entire nation, uh, shut it down. I'm not going to see. He said, now that I've got your attention, uh, everything that I said uh, in Psalms 23 uh, will be in operation. So is Zechariah 3. Hear me. He said, now that I've got you still, uh, sit down and get something to eat. Uh, you've been yelling and screaming uh, for John Boy uh, and Mary Lou, whatever your kid's name is. Uh, I give him a beat just for time's sake. Uh, Y'all sit down and get something to eat. Uh, it's hard to get folks uh, to sit down and get something to eat uh, when you prepare had a place. Uh, God said, now, uh, uh, God, uh, that I can prepare um, a place for your enemies. Sit down and get something to eat. Uh, he said, when you're eating uh, in the presence of your enemy, uh, then I can anoint your oil. Uh, watch this. Uh, you're still, uh, 
You're laying down and you're looking for something to eat. God, see, God works when we are still. He said, when you are still, I am walking the earth. Listen to me. He said, when I can do that, I will anoint your head with oil. And God said, what's going to happen now? The overflow is going to start. I got surely goodness and mercy. It's going to follow us all the days of our life. And we shall oh God, dwell in the house of the Lord. And it's funny. Shall we go dwell in the house of the Lord forever? You know why? Because y'all can't wait for church to open. Huh? He said, and now will you dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever? Hear me. God said, he said, now why the world is at a standstill? He said, I am yet still walking the earth. God said, listen here, Joshua, you mighty man of valor. I know you are fighting, but I'm going to need you to sit down. He said, Job, oh Job, I know you got everything, but I'm going to need you please to trust me for the replenishment of God of the process for what needs to be restored. Uh, understand. Uh, let me help you with something. Uh, I need y'all to sit down. Uh, could tag and share. Because uh, God said, uh, while we are all standing still, uh, the man of God called Christ is working uh, and walking. Uh, you don't even understand. Uh, he said, what's happening now? Uh, the changing uh, of the gods uh, have begun. Uh, he said, now that everybody uh, was walking around, uh, all filthy and dirty, uh, a wretch undone. Uh, he said, now what they're going to do uh, is realize uh, that I'm doing something here. Uh, now we are praying for everyone that has suffered a loss and we ain't afraid but God said watch me work he said now the healing begin see y'all kill me and like CNN and I'm probably gonna get in trouble 2,700 folks for saying it but did you watch it can you please do me a favor cause my inbox is full of folks that seeing God I'm not gonna see my inbox is full of folks that's giving miracle signs and wonders my inbox is full of believers not Christians hear me there is a big difference. My inbox is full. My email is at the capacity. My phone, ding. Oh, my mama coming home. My child has been misdiagnosed. Let us hear about the miracle signs and wonders that our God is doing. Don't only let us hear about the mog's child. Don't even let us hear about somebody being... Okay, hold on. I know it's pollen season. Bishop Harris, I hope you're praying. I know it's pollen season. Some of you... Oh God, Curry was, he held that. Mm. Seth Curry, he held that sneeze in. You afraid to sneeze? You afraid to laugh? You afraid to say anything? I get it, I get it. Wisdom is the principal thing. But can we please get back to the new normal child since the old normal is gone? 2,700 folks under the sound of my voice. We are all at a standstill. What do you mean that you're saying we're going another 30 days like this? Somewhere, somewhere, I've got to pray for somebody's mind because somebody about to lose their mind being locked in a house, uh, especially with somebody uh, that ain't my problem, uh, somebody that you long, uh, don't like, uh, and some kids uh, God is sick, uh, pray for their minds, uh, hear me uh, the senses uh, around the earth is saying uh, the pandemic has hit uh, more locations than not, uh, I need to hear uh, about some miracle signs and wonders, uh, thank you Bishop Harris thank you, uh, I need to hear about uh, the miracle signs and wonders uh, that CNN ain't talking about uh, don't keep us in a place of hysteria let us operate of faith and see God, please. You calling on them anyway. Hear me. Nonsense. Tell me. You gonna put something in us and it ain't even no experiment. Hold on. Y'all mean to tell me. Hold on. I got to get funny because I got to give them a daily dose of medicine. Y'all can't figure this out. Well, let me help y'all. Everybody who is under the sound of my voice, we need to go back to the new normal, please. Because we about to lose our mind. Jesus is walking, but we like to go for a walk too. Hear me. You don't even understand. Can you Please not be so complicated. Huh? Let Dr. Fossey speak. Don't shut the man up. Huh? He understands what he's saying. He, you already said you ain't a doctor. Please. Huh? Can we please just make it huh? that everybody can get free? Listen to me. Now, I understand Obamacare didn't work for you, a 45. And I know I'm getting trouble for saying that. Huh? But I need CCM to be on deck. Huh? Can you please? Yeah, yeah, so y'all can't figure it out. Let the women of wisdom help you. Everybody should get tested for free. Mm hmm Everybody, because we got to go back to the new normal. Let everybody get free testing. Set it up. Set it up in trailers. You do it when you want blood. There's a trailer, a blood bank outside. Honey, I went to the movies before all of this. And outside was a blood trailer to collect blood, right? All you got to do is set testing trailers up on every block and let everybody get tested. 
Give them a card that I've been tested. Negative. Those that are positive, put them on the other side. Those that are negative. You get a card that I'm corona free. Okay, I'm trying to help y'all. Then what you do, you ever go in somebody's house and you hear, Sss. Sss. that ain't a booty call. Sss. Not a cat call. Sss. It's those little lights off things that's on the wall and you and you walk by and go, Sss. can you please create since alcohol is nowhere to be found on the shelf, create one of those to kill viruses and let it be in everybody's house, in a job, in a grocery store, in the store. And when you go in there, you hear, Sss. you ain't scared. You just know that they're taking the germs in the environment and you're killing them. Can we please get back to the new normal so we can live life and get out of this house before we kill them all these kids? Hear me, 2,700 folks, under the sound of my voice, I'm glad I give you a daily dose of antidote, of laughter, because we need it now, because we are all delusional and crazy, we done gained about 19, 11 pounds, we can't do nothing but eat, go to the bathroom, Netflix stock is on an all-time high, Amazon is 5,000, 1,700 just for a share, it done skyrocketed, oh come on now, I'm a small pastor, you know good and doggone well, you done read every book on the shelf, you done prayed, fasted, laid in the floor, you spoke in tongues, you cussed some out. You did all those things. I know blessings and curses ain't supposed to go the same black. But God is saying, listen here. I'm walking around trying to clear everything up. I'm going to need y'all to fall in line. 2,700 folks under the sound of my voice. Jesus is walking. Child, we'd have heard Kanye's song forever. And he was ministering. Whether you want to believe he's not saved or not. He said, Jesus walk. And Jesus says, I'm walking while you're standing still. And God is saying, now, I've got your attention. We can all talk. Can we talk now? And God's saying, listen, I'm going to show you something. Hebrews 12 and 1. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so close to us. And let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. I'm glad I can make you laugh, Bishop. We running. We all running. But somewhere, somebody got tripped up. And the enemy came and said, listen here. If you just allow me to touch the American people, let me touch the world. Yes, I got. People say, what is she doing? Yeah, I'm a tongue talker. I speak to God. The word of God said that every deed shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. The Lord just revealed to me. He said, if the enemy can afflict the world, then that scripture becomes null and void to some. Because somewhere somebody ain't giving God praise because he took your mama, could took your daddy. Somewhere I read it where a woman's son and husband were taken by this virus. Somewhere someone says, ain't bowing. And I'm not praying. Hear me. God is saying, do you trust me during this pandemic? That no matter what it is, I can fix it. And God is saying, while you are standing still, I am yet working. Can you please give God his just due? I don't care what comes my way. A hallelujah and a praise will always be on my mouth. I lost my mother years ago. She was the most profound woman that ever walked the face of the earth. And I stood over her body and I said, God, I trust you. God said, I'm yet walking. I'm yet walking. I've slowed them down so they can see the salvation of the Lord. He said, I am saying, I'm guiding them through this. Watch. Watch June. It's going to shift. The guiding is beginning. The guiding is beginning. The governor does not. Some governors are saying, we're not doing that. There's got to be a place of normalcy. You just can't do that. You can't lock up. Cuomo said it best. Oh, man, I know I ain't. This Y'all better watch it now and tag it and share it because it ain't going to be here later. Cuomo said you just can't stick it in the house and don't give them no, no right knowledge. You can't do that. God says, I'm at your feet. Everything that you need is in my hands. It's in the master's hands. I'm seeding for my feet. I'm seeding for my feet today because through this whole thing, he is walking with me and I want to be in sync. I don't go far. I want to be in sync when he says go left. I want to be in sync when he says go right. I want to be in sync. Lord knows I'm in sync when he says dumb, dumb, da dumb, and holding back even my wedding, God. Y'all don't understand that God is saying that I need them to be in sync with me and that's why I have them still. 
He said, I got them in sync. Understand that anytime you're in sync with something, you've got to move when they move just like that. And God is saying, while we are all standing still, I am walking. But just like Job and Joshua, he said, both of them realized that I was walking. Because when I stood up and they stood up and we were talking to each other, the enemy was right there like some jealous chick. You, 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 you got that, you, you know, you got that one friend that's just a hater. She just looking at you like you a whole mess of things. Brothers, you know, women are some, they could be some trifling chicks. Do you know men too? But I'm telling you, you doing all you can and somebody looking at you just like the devil himself, like, and they came, Joshua was like, Lord, look, I'm, I did wrong. I, I'm filthy. I made my mistake, but I need you to watch me. David said, purge me like his up, that I may be clean. Have you ever been around somebody that didn't smell so good? You ain't got no excuse now. I don't want to target. Deodorant is everywhere. Have you ever been around somebody that got B.O.? And God says, this sin stinks. This missing the mark. This iniquity. This strength, It's missing the mark. He says, so what I've got to do, I've got to stand still. And the enemy was right there like, you could do what you want to because I'm going to be right here. And I'm going to just fight every bit of faith they got. Because fear going to work so much until they're going to be afraid to move. They're going to be afraid to lift their hand. God bless you, Bishop White. I ain't forget about you. They ain't gonna, they're going to be afraid to do anything. And God says, wait, who are you talking to? God bless you, Bishop Jackson. Who are you talking to? God said, wait, I got them standing still. Stand still and know. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Read the 23rd Psalms. Read it. He says, stand still. He said, I can anoint your head. I can feed you. And I can set a table before the presence of your enemy. If you just lay down and let me work. 2,800 folks under the sound of my voice. God is saying, watch me work. He said, in the middle of this pandemic, I understand that. I would love it that everybody... Everybody, the Bible said he wishes that no man will be lost. That's the word of God. He said that no man, he said he wishes that no man be lost. None of them. But reality is, is that some shall be. And some, read the word of God. It speaks about it. It said the tears of the saints shall be bottled and some shall. And some shall, meaning some tears going to save some life. The vows are going to, some shall, some, some mean, that mean ain't everybody. Everybody. That's why he said, if it be possible, if it be possible, believe, if, because everybody ain't going to do that. So God is saying, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand you all still. I'm going to stand you all still. And when I'm standing you all still, I'm going to be walking the earth. And I'm going to be doing some stuff. Will you be in sync with him? To the sinner, if you're a sinner, say I'm a sinner. Father, forgive me for my sins. Uh-huh. You sound real good. I confess with my mouth that I'm a sinner. Forgive me of my sins. I make you today my personal Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I understand that all churches are closed, but the doors of the church are open online. Find one. Find one. Find one. The doors of the church never close because if they shut them, we online. Two dudes, hello. 2,900 folks under the sound of my voice. You better understand that God is walking this earth. I know it feels like he said, you know what, forget all them people. No, that's not what he's doing. The devil is a liar. Understand, the Bible said when Joshua was standing to say, God, I'm filthy, clean it. The enemy was there to intercept it. He don't want you to live a life of sobriety. He wants you to run amok. He wants you to get mad at God for everything that's going on and do like Job's wife said, curse God and die. And it wasn't that she did it because she was mean. She did not want to see her husband suffer. For anything. She was saying it from a place of compassion. Thank you for that lesson, Bishop Anthony Gillian. She was saying, you know what? I love you so much. I don't want to see you like that. Would you just get it over with? And she was saying it in the... And see, people want to fight about the scripture because he had lost everything. People say, well, look, you know, he, he broke now. Now she don't want him. No, she was saying, look, I don't want you to be like this, please. I love you enough to let you go. And God said, even in all of this, he said, some people, unfortunately, they're going to leave. They're going to, unfortunately, they're going to have to, some of them going to go. But God said, that doesn't mean that I'm stopped walking. See, the Bible said that Joshua was before God saying, God, fix me, fix this. And the Bible said that the enemy was right there resisting. That means he was, he must have been saying, Joshua, now listen here. Now, uh, 
uh, no, 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 you know you like her. No, you like him. Well, you know, you know, you, you, well, you know, well, you know, they don't have fun. Well, you know, Christians, don't, they don't smile. Believers don't have fun. They don't, you know, but you can't. But, and so the enemy gets in and he just talks and he, this is what he does. While God is moving, and so what happens is it becomes annoying. It becomes annoying. And you know what happens? You allow his resistance to take your strength. And God said, those small foxes spoil the vine. It's those tiny foxes. I'm even praying for those that are working. Makisha, I'm praying for you. Those of you that's working in the airport and you still got to work. We're praying for you. You're an essential worker. And God is saying, he says, I am walking. He said, I got to walk. He said, I've got to walk because the enemy is walking too. He said, listen, the word of God said the enemy walks to and fro among the earth seeking. He is seeking right now who he shall devour. He don't care who he got to use. And God said, because he is still seeking, I've got to walk. And God says, I am standing God to change the gods. I am seeking for my feet. Because you need God. 2,900 folks under the sound of my voice tag two people. Because you need God's favor to guide your footsteps.